it wraps like a heart attack. That's fatal heart impact. Past painful starts. In fact, I blast tasteful thoughts and past. I back up my actions. Back don't ask, grab reactions. Jack attack with every word. Then act with class. That's they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose. Cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused. Call the shots and they produce. I ain't boss. I'm finally loose. Pick a new silver excuse. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you just freaked out. Get ready for defeat. Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, whenever we last left off with this series, quite a bit has happened. In the last part, we had Deku, Arthur, and Adam. Now, Arthur, he is Amelia's father, also the king of the Etzos, and Adam is Amelia's older brother, the prince of the Etzos. Now, both these two met with Deku whenever he was still in the hospital, and they informed him about a little bit of things. They gave him some information on the machine men, and currently information about what is happening with the Edsos on Earth. Some people, they don't exactly like the way Arthur is running things, and they may be trying to kill him. Now, Deku, he wanted to at least confirm this. However, Arthur, he didn't say it outright. He talked about how people may be trying to use his children to get to him. Because currently, Amelia's mother is sick. And Deku, he didn't get an answer about why or how she was sick. However, he made it quite apparent. Now, he wanted this information to be hidden from Amelia, and Deku didn't really understand why. However, after thinking about it a little bit more, he did sort of realize it. Whoever goes by her side may get kidnapped. And Deku? Yeah. Currently, they are at the mansion. And he is a bit more worried. Deku, he is wheeling his way around the area. And looking at a few things. This place is super fancy. And he doesn't really feel like he should be here. As we do actually have where Deku does go to wheel around a corner. And whenever he actually just see Amelia... She was just going to turn and look at him. Her going to at least wave him over as Deku just come over. And a few people, they are, well, looking at him. Deku, he does see an Etso and a human. As he does ask them exactly, what's up? Hmm? Oh, hello. You must be Izuku. That's correct, yes. Oh, well, um, we look forward to having you here. All right, thank you. I'm in charge of a specialized task. We understand. However, aren't you also the same human with the mental abilities? I am, yes. And why would that be important to know? Just, just curiosity. That's all. We wish to know more. Really? Yes, it's not every day you meet somebody... Well, you understand. I do. So, Deku turned towards the human. Ask them exactly what might they be doing here. Oh, um, yes, um, that is quite simple. I am here to look after a few things. And I actually do work here. Hmm. So, human staffing. Sort of, yes. It's, um, complicated at the moment. Um, if I'm to put it very simply, this place wasn't originally made for Etzos. In fact, it was a very, very extravagant home. Hmm. And someone just offered it up to them? Offered it up in a little bit of an interest, yes, to say. And, well, right now, the current... Owners of it, the Etzos, they are actually very intrigued by it. Hmm. Okay, so all I'm understanding is somebody is giving the Etzos a mansion to grease their pocket. Hmm. Well, that's not entirely wrong. But still, I just get paid to do whatever I'm told. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah. But, I mean, it's an easy job. I mean, granted, um, 
Now there's actually more people living here, it's a bit more difficult, a bit of a hassle, but we just hired more staff. So, you work here even whenever they aren't here? Yes, I do. Sounds like a nightmare. Now, Amelia, she actually is going to leave with Deku. After these two people, they do go to part ways. And Deku just asks a bit of questions. Asking how many people are living here. As Amelia, she's currently pushing the chair. Talking about how it is all sort of up to speculation. Right now, the current amount of Edsos that live here, they're, well, somewhere around 40. Hmm? 40 people? Um, well, that's how many are supposed to be here. Currently, we have a, as humans would call it, a skeleton crew. Hmm. Skeleton crew. Yes. Currently, there's 10 members of staff. And... Us counting you, me, my brother, and uh, that Edso here, that would be about 14. 14 people in this huge ass place? Yes. For now. So, whenever things do get properly set up for all of us, we'll move in here. In fact, this place is technically supposed to be an embassy for my people. An embassy? Really? Yes, that's how humans would put it, quite simply. That's, um, good, correct? Oh, um, yeah, it's very good. It's just surprising. I didn't realize this place was important that way. Technically, there are a lot of things that do need to be done, buildings that do need to be added, but for now, that is what my father believes it to be. That's the word he used, at least, but I do not think he does have a very good understanding of that word so far. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. But Amelia, there's something I need to talk to you about. Hmm? Is there? Are you sure we can't have a private conversation later? No. Deku, he does get to mentally reach out. As a reminder of Felix's connection, Jack does not want to stop pushing for a second. Before Deku, he does go to inform her. They need to talk about something very important. And right now, they need to at least act like business as usual. Her are going to momentarily freeze before going to start pushing again. Ask him what exactly might be wrong. Hmm? Amelia, I'm not going to lie to you. Your father... Okay, um, this is probably going to be hard to tell you, so please don't freak out. It's regarding my father? Yes, and it also does regard your mother. My mother? But she's not really brought up in issues like this before. Hmm? Brought up? Yes. She does like to leave political issues to my father. Meanwhile, she does like to try to help manage local issues. They split up different expertise areas like that. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. She handles business things like that, as you would call them. And even how things are managed locally. It's actually a bit more complicated than that, but the gist of it is... Okay, Amelia, you can explain that to me later, okay? Your mom's sick. What? Wait, are you serious? I have to... No. What do you mean, no? Amelia... Your mom is sick. Right now, your dad thinks somebody is trying to kill him. And I have a sneaking suspicion your mom was poisoned. Are you certain? Are you serious? Please don't joke about this, Izuku. I'm not lying to you, Amelia. Listen, your father has an idea. And I don't know if he was trying to be subtle about it. But he believes that somebody might be trying to abduct you. Abduct either you or your brother or maybe even him. Currently, she's being looked after. However, I want to launch an investigation. I want to find out exactly who may have been able to poison your mom. And I want to know exactly how long she's been sick for. If your mom's been sick for longer than she should have been, medically speaking, I believe that somebody within her, well, 
personal bubble, they may be poisoning her and still doing so. And right now that is worrying me. It worries you? That's, that's my mother. I understand, Amelia. However, if you rush to her side, people will try to take you. And they'll use you as a hostage. They might try to make an example of you or your mother and kill both of you. Now, Amelia, she obviously does feel a wide range of emotions at this. And it does piss her off, for one. She's frustrated. She's annoyed. She's worried. And she does at least feel a bit more rage. Now, that is what she does focus on. Any time there have been matters like this before that are highly important, she is always left in the dark. She is not informed of things like this. Her brother and her father, both of them are guilty of that. They would rather keep her in the dark than let her know. And Deku does hear about that. Amelia is thinking. She needs to talk to her brother. Maybe she can give him a book. Maybe saying that it will teach him exactly that he needs to communicate better. Maybe she'll give him that dictionary that Deku keeps talking about. That would be something good. Something that he might need. Now, Amelia does this think. How heavy is a dictionary? And Deku is at least going to tell her. Well, that is something that she can do later. Right now, he does want to tell her. He was told to keep that a secret. So, if she does go to them with that issue... Then they'll know he told her. <sighs> that is bad. I don't understand why they keep me out of these issues. I am a princess. I am supposed to be helping royal matters and helping my people. But they don't think I'm capable of it. <sighs> Amelia, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm very angry. My mother might die, and I'm not even going to be informed of it so I can talk to her or see her before she does. I know. Listen, I want to launch an investigation. You do? Yeah. I want to look into exactly what's going on with your mother. I want to know if she is either being poisoned or is afflicted by an illness. Are you certain that that's a good idea? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I can find out that your mom, she's going to, well, be poisoned, I can stop it. And we can catch whoever's doing this. I've ran through a few situations in my head, and I've looked back at them. In fact, I did kind of miss it, actually. It was kind of nostalgic. But here's a few little things. Somebody inside of her inner circle, wherever she's currently being kept, they either are involved with this plot to, well, take her out, or somebody they're holding a poison, one that they've used that needs a cure, or even an illness. Are you certain? Yeah. If it's a poison, they're giving it to her in small enough doses to keep her sick. If it's not, then she needs a cure. Or she just needs to recover. What do you mean? Well, human antibiotics are very strong to your people. And actually, pharmaceutical industries and even other industries, they're making things specifically for your people. Something that would, well, be helpful. We're using your medical tech and our knowledge of your stuff to figure it all out. So... If she does take human antibiotics, she might be okay. However, that could flood her system. Hmm? What do you mean? Amelia, have you ever heard the phrase, too much of a good thing is bad? Um, yes. This is like that. We can flood her with so much... Well, it's basically like this. We're putting more light in a light bulb. 
Um, what exactly do you mean? Imagine a light bulb. Now make it brighter. Is that good? Um, for its use, yes. Okay. Now keep making it brighter. What happens? Eventually it will explode. That is too much for it to handle. Exactly. Or your mother would be cured. She's also be poisoned again, except in a different manner. I see. So that is bad. Yeah, that's very bad. Now listen, Amelia. If I can solve this, I can help your mom. And, well, right now, we just need to keep this low-key. I shouldn't even have told you this. But I'm not going to hide it from you. I, I do appreciate that. So, what do you want to do? Hmm? What do you mean? Now, Amelia, she's going to wheel Deku into her room. As Deku is going to look around, he was so focused and deep in thought, he didn't realize where they were. What is this place? This, for right now, is the theater room. Theater? Yes. Many of my people are actually very intrigued about it. They've been watching human movies nonstop. And right now, there's actually one that's been coming out soon that I believe that both of us are fairly interested in. The two, they do, they do go to sit down into a place where they'd be very comfortable. Deku, he actually does get out of his chair. And he actually is able to fly over to one that would be way, way too comfortable to get up from. Now, the thing would be able to recline back. It also is a massage chair. And Deku, yeah. Compared to what he's been sleeping on for the last few weeks, and, well, after everything that's been going on, this, he wants to stay right here. Now, both of them, they do get comfortable. And they do start the movie. As they're both talking and laughing about it. And at some points, they even do talk about how, oh yeah, this isn't seem realistic, this over here doesn't seem to be possible. And this over here, yeah. That, that was funny. Now, they do start to watch a few movies. They go through about, hmm, let's say about four movies. And halfway through the fourth one, which will be a horror movie, you do actually have somebody who does come walking in. They are actually very confused. They were going to have a chat with them later. And they were concerned about exactly what they might be doing. Now, they searched through the entire mansion, and they were very concerned that something may have happened to them. And when they did come walk into this room to search it, they heard a movie playing. So they decided to sneak in. Them doing so, as when they do walk into the room, they do, they do go around, around a corner. And a jump scare has happened. This being where Adam, he does go do somewhat to jump, as he actually going to throw his hand outwards towards the railing. Him smashing onto the railing, or just onto something to grab for a staircase, before you do actually have Deku just going to look towards him. And he did going to jump at the same time. Now, the moment that it actually happened, you do have Deku. He was fully reclined back and watching the movie. And Amelia, she was right next to him. She herself was getting very comfortable, and she was actually very close to Deku. The moment that this happened, Amelia, she did get at least hear the jump. Deku going to bring his hand up and levitate her to the next chair. As Amelia, she was basically thrown to the other chair, you do actually have Adam Hudas come walking in. Him flipping on the lights by just simply waving a hand and having them all come up. Him turning in, turning off the projector, as he does go to ask exactly what the hell both of them are doing. Hmm? What do you want, Adam? Yes, Adam, why are you here? What? Am I interrupting something? Yes, we are watching a movie. You should try it sometimes. It's very relaxing. I do not know what about that you find relaxing. However, 
I am concerned because we could not find you. Find us for what? It is time we sit down and have a meal, Amelia. And I was concerned because I did not know if you left the manor or not. I am very fine, Adam. Now, if you excuse us, we'll go back to our movie. Now, Amelia is going to bring up her hand. Her going to reach for the project reach for the projector with her powers. As Adam, he does get to at least bring his hand up and go to try and block her. Now, they could just watch this happen. Her turning directly to Adam and telling him to stop. No. It is time we all sit down for a meal. This wasn't exactly a request. This was more like an order, Amelia. Father is here. You should tell me that first, not try to interrupt. Now, we will become presentable and will join you. So please, let us go get ready. Good. Now, the guy does go to turn and look towards Deku. Deku, he's encouraging this stupid behavior. Why? Jeez. These two, they're so simple. Now, whenever they do go to leave, Adam, he does wonder, though. Why is scary movie? That one actually got quite a bit on his nerves. His heart was racing, but there was a form of excitement there. Adam, he's very confused. Human media, it's never gave him this response before. It's never given him the sense of danger. This fear he just felt momentarily. There was the rush he had of it, but then there's this. He's left with the adrenaline. He's surprised. He tried to hide it, but that was actually rather exciting. What was that movie they were watching? He wants to know more. If it gives them this response, he does understand why humans, they go for them. Why they enjoy media so much. He understood that certain forms of it were odd, and he's even looked into one. He didn't like it very well. So maybe he should try looking into other categories of it. Hmm. Some that may elicit the same response in my body would be good. I'll have to ask about this. It would help my research. Now, we do have over with Deku and Amelia. Both of them do look at each other. Deku asking if she's alright. To which is just... She just... She just does sit up and talk about how that was close. Yeah, it was. Ah, it's a good thing I saw him. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? We have to go to dinner now. We have to go to dinner now. And I'm not too sure if I can sit there with a straight face and watch my father lie to me. If I ask where my mother is, he'll lie. If I try to bring up a certain conversation topic, he'll lie. If I try and say something, he won't tell me. Now I just sit down and eat dinner with him whenever I'm frustrated with him. And I know he will not talk to me honestly. Nor will he tell me a word about what we are currently facing. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that. No. Deku is going to float up into the air. As he actually is going to grab onto Amelia. Her being lifted upwards as she's kind of confused. What are you doing? Come on. You just got to calm down. Here. Deku at least going to fly forwards. Him grabbing onto her as his he does go to put his forehead to hers, telling her that right now he's trying to protect her. He's not going to take his side, but he is trying to stop Amelia from worrying unnecessarily. Well, yes, he should have said something about it. He is trying to make sure she does have a bit more of a stress-free time here. And he knows that while him saying it may not be as good as it from her father to know, but he does care in his own strange way. Are you certain? 
I'm sure he does, Amelia. They're Googling back, talking about how, for right now, she just have to keep in mind. While her father is hiding his own secret, she does have her own as well. Deku is somewhat smiling a bit as he's just going to give a wink. And Amelia, she just does stare at him. She does going to crack a smile. And the two, they do go to leave the theater room. Now, we do have where Deku is going to get back to his room. He was informed by somebody that his current clothing, it wasn't exactly something that he could wear. And Deku, he didn't understand. He went back to his room and found a very nice looking suit set out for him. And he did go to put it on. However, he felt like simply just going there in a wheelchair, it wouldn't be the best option. He decided that he might as well just use his powers and fly there. And use his powers to walk. So, that is what he does do. He knows he really shouldn't be putting any pressure down on his feet yet. While he does need to build the muscle before he can fully put down weight on it, he knows exactly his limits. So he does want to at least try and start a little lighter than that. Now, we do actually have Deku. He does appear to walk into the room, and a lot of people they do stare at him. As whenever Deku is going to sit back down in his chair, he does do so a little strangely. And a few people they do want to point that out. They know he's been in an accident recently. However, yeah. Recent is a, well, not the most accurate word they'd use. So, they are going to at least let that slide. Now, a few people there are sitting here. And Deku, he actually is sitting down in the room, looking around. A few people he doesn't recognize. Some are human. Some are Edso. And some, they actually are staring at him. Deku, he changed his bandages. And right now, he's wearing a tuxedo that is... Hmm. Let's say it's blue and red. Now, Deku is wearing that type of tuxedo. And his face is half bandaged, and they can only see one of his eyes. Along with that, he did seem to stumble in like a drunk, if they do want to put it away. They don't have a lot of confidence in this man. And whenever he did go to sit down and join the conversation, he did go to turn his head and look towards a few people. Them immediately going to avoid looking right at him. As he's going to at least turn and join into a conversation with Arthur. Now, things they are going good. And you do actually have where at least Deku and Amelia, they do go to put on the facade of professionality. Where they act like friends. Or even, well, colleagues. Now, Arthur, he actually is very happy about this. These two are the perfect example of what he wants for humanity and Itzos. He wants them to live in peace. And he actually is going to point this out. And this actually is something that is very, very odd for a lot of people to stare at. As somebody who asked Deku about his most recent, uh, most recent, well, battle. And they do want to at least confirm some rumors they may have heard. Deku actually going to turn after he did actually go to hear them ask about the machine man. Deku, his hand somewhat twitching. As he does at least go to set down his knife. Oh, sorry, that must have been... No, no, it's fine. Um, Miss... What was your name exactly? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to introduce myself. My name is Miss Yagirozu. Oh, Miss Yagirozu. I'm not too sure I can say. The fact that that's been made public, though, is surprising. It was made public not too long ago. We discussed some things. We had to explain exactly what happened to the military base, the operations that were happening there, and, well, exactly what happened to the humans and the Etzos on your base. I see. That's a shame. Okay. Let me explain this very well. Monsieur Yeruzu. Whenever we were attacked, 
that wasn't it too good. The fact that I'm still alive after what we had to do to take that thing down, it's a miracle. Right now, I'm still in physical recovery. Hmm? You are? Yes. I just got out of the hospital today, actually. So, I start physical therapy in a few days, if you want to talk more about this. And, well, I am actually a bit more concerned. The machine men and the orb aliens, or the light bulbs, you don't give them a name, or the lights. Actually, I like that one better. They're both just a different threat than each other. However, what we, I do know from personal experience is that I'd see the machines are far more dangerous. The machines. Yeah. And exactly what can you tell us about them? Huh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't really say much considering the fact that I've been told to stay quiet about it. But what I can tell you is this. They are very dangerous. We fired a highly advanced military weapon right at that thing. Powerful enough to shake the moon. Right at it. And it shrug it off. It just was not phased. If it was, it didn't show it. Now, I would like to discuss more of it with you, Monsieur Rozu, because I do feel like you do have the correct questions. However, it is all hidden behind red tape. You understand. Hmm. Interesting. So, can I ask you about your fall from space, then? Hmm? No. Deku, he does get to reach for his wine glass. I'm going to pick it up and talk about how he survived. That's all that is really there to tell. I'm going to take a brief, well, taste of it. Now, Momo, she has to try to at least talk about her actual question then. What caused him to survive? Hmm? Again, highly classified. You understand, Miss Hiruzu. If I wanted to disclose it to you, I'd be in a lot of trouble. So, I will at least say this. Something that is made from unity. That is what made me survive. Um, he's clearly talking about technology. Fascinating. Exotech is valuable. Hmm, he wants the right calling them stay here. However, Father, he might be a bit more trusting if we do at least allow them to stay here more. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we can secure tech. Maybe we can... Monsieur Yeruzu? Yes? Your angle here is quite, well, apparent. I can't tell you much. They can't tell you much. They weren't there. In fact, I'm the only one in this room who's actually involved in the operation who is human. And who actually knows the full story. Now, Digga does, does go to give her a side glance. I just go to stare back at him. He's... Well, a little intimidating. Now, we do actually have Arthur. While the dinner does continue like normal, or at least as normal as it can, there are a few conversations that, conversations that do happen. And Deku, he does eat. He's actually fairly intrigued to know exactly what is going to be happening. How will he hold this investigation? How will everything go? Hmm, it does seem odd. Adam, he does get to look back towards Deku. There he is again. That same pattern. Hmm. Interested. Interesting. Hmm. Izuku, correct? Yeah. Deku looking up towards Adam. What's up? Hmm. I wish to know a bit about that human media. The movie? Yes. What was it? Oh, that was a horror film. Interesting. Do you know exactly what type of film it was? I 
just said it was a horror film. That is the genre. Yeah. And what is the purpose? Um, well, I mean, you walked in at the right time, so you know. That's, that's it? What is he talking about? Ah, him and Amelia were watching, well, movies whenever I walked into the theater room. And they were actually, well, I don't know. They were there for quite some time. Fascinating, really? Perhaps we should try watching some of these. Nah. Deku, he does hear that. Okay. So, there's this now. Hmm. It does go a bit back and forth. Momo, she has one to recommend a lot of movies to them. She's seen quite a bit. And she actually is a bit more intrigued to know exactly what they might find purpose in. Or find useful. And right now, their actions over Deku and everyone else are sitting there, all dead silent. And right now, you do have something that Arthur, he does going to open his mouth to discuss. Deku is currently chewing on some food, and he's about to swallow. As right before he does, you do have where Arthur is talking about how they need to be focused on exactly making heirs to the throne. And it doesn't just apply for the crown. Right now, he believes that Adam and Amelia, they both need to help. Excuse me? Father. Yes, both of you. Our numbers are very low. And right now, we don't have a lot of Edsos left. Our population was mostly decimated. We are barely even a handful of what we were. I do hate this request, but both of you need to find candidates. Now, Deku, you heard that word, candidate, as he has to swallow his food, and he does start to choke a bit. Deku is going to bring his hand up to his throat, before he is going to pull his hand backwards into a fist and go to slam it directly into his chest, as he's going to cough up a piece of food. <clears throat> uh, are you alright? Yeah, that just caught me by surprise. Um, what? Yes, my species, we didn't do too well on the other planet. Some who did make the voyage here. They may not have survived. Others, they are still skeptical about what we did. The evacuation. With how sudden it was, our species of around five billion, we were reduced to very little, less than... Fifty million. Jesus. Yes. Now, Deku, he does go look around the room. Everybody, they heard that word. Fifty million of five billion. Wow. Um, I, I, I didn't, I'm very sorry. Yes. It was quite bad. However, I do believe that I know of some people who would be beneficial for this. I know it is not a matter we have discussed before. Not openly. However, I believe that it is time now. Deku hearing a few things. The man wants to set up Adam and Amelia with two different people. He wants his children to help. Their species. And Deku he does find it to be kind of strange for a subject to talk about. So, he does want to bite his tongue. However, the idea of a man with another guy, that's not something that he can stomach. Especially not now. The two, they've been together for a bit of time. In fact, somewhere o almost over a year. And, well, I mean... This just seems so strange. Now, Deku, he just gonna look at Amelia. As she's sitting across from the table, directly across from him. And she's just going to give him at least a look. Now, 
Deku, he does, he's gonna wait. Okay, so they're just gonna brush us off, be okay. And Adam, he doesn't really seem up for it either. So the two of them, they work together, and they try to discuss this with their father, so he can have some leeway. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so, let's see. Adam should be the one who's going to talk. He'll take his advice. He'll see how things are. Now, before Adam opens his mouth to speak, and at least try to say something about this, Amelia she is going to slam her hands down on the table, jumping off from her chair as it does slide backwards. And I really need to go to look towards her. As she has announced that she can't, well, marry somebody, because she's already currently seeing another Etso. And everybody in the room, they do hear that. As that's quite a bit of a surprise. Adam, he does look at his sister kind of surprised. And even Arthur, he does get a look towards him. And he does stare at his daughter. A... another Etso? Uh, Amelia. Really? Yes, father. Why have you been hiding this? Is it somebody that we know? Is it our candidate? Is it him going to say a name? As Deku, he does hear that name, and then go to look back towards Amelia. Ash does talk about how, no, it's not. The who is it? I wish to know. It is my right to know. It is, no, it isn't. Excuse me? Father, I have been holding my tongue for a while. I've hid this from you because I knew you would not approve. I hid this from you because I know how you are. I hid this from you because I know if I told you about it, you'd stop us. I, I love them, and I do not wish for them to be in danger. I will not tell you. Now, Amelia's just going to run out of the room, and Deku is left sitting there. As is going to clench downwards onto his knife, and onto his fork. He wants to say something there. Amelia, she may have just gotten herself in trouble. Damn it. Shit. He shouldn't have told her about that earlier. He set her off. She was already a fucking delicate fuse. That's all his fault. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and have an amazing night. I'll catch you guys in the next part.